I'm going to fall asleep and need the toilet. This is like my main two problems in life. Falling asleep and needing the toilet. Hello and welcome back to another one of my pillow talk Pillow party. Pillow party. So hello, it's that girl. Right, so welcome to another one of my pillow party videos in which I talk about various things and go off on tangents as I normally do in videos, but more so. So it's basically like any other video, but I don't really have a... I don't have a single topic or like a point to it. So there's no point to this video. Enjoy. So basically, I was I was thinking about ideas for YouTube videos to film. Sorry. I went around, well, first I looked on the trending page of YouTube, which did not help me because one, I'm I'm not a singer, so I don't have a music video. Well, yeah, I don't have a music video. Well, or I can't make a music video over the weekend. Well, I could if I planned it better than I would be able to. I'm not going to bleach my hair. I mean, I'm not like light blonde, but I'm already blonde, so it wouldn't be that exciting. It would be like, oh, her hair is slightly lighter than it used to be. <laughs> so then I was asking my family. They, they have some good ideas, actually. Um, my, my dad said you could talk about how ARMY has more of a break now that BTS is on a break. <laughs> And I was like, that's true. It was a, it was a big relief when, oh, like, I cannot tell you, <laughs> like, I was so happy. I went around, I told my sister, I should tell my dad, I told everyone, I was like, I was like, you won't believe what's just happened. BTS, right? I was like, you know what BTS is doing? They were like, having a tour, releasing new music, coming to England, whatever. I was like, they're taking an official break. An official break. I was so happy. <laughs> me and my friend, me and my friend were literally messing each other like, yes. We were just like, yes, this is the best thing that's ever happened. Because, I mean, we obviously we love BTS and we love their music and their work, but also they need to chill. I mean, since they've been on break, I feel like. I mean, Jimin's been on V Live three times. How long have they been a break? Like, what is it now? A week? Like around a week or less than a week. Jimin's come on V Live every other day, bringing other members with him. They're all on Weverse <laughs> and Twitter, and yeah. And I don't know how to put on a microphone. One second. Okay, you're just gonna have to deal with a Pikachu clip for a while because. Well, my mic clip broke the first time I tried to put my mic in it, so we'll just have to deal with it for now. Pretend, pretend it's not there. Pretend I know how to do, I was going to say my job. Is this my job? Hmm, interesting. Because I do enjoy it and I'll keep doing it, but like I don't get paid for it, so no, it's not my job. <laughs> I was like, is it my job? No, it's not my job. It's obviously not my job because, because it's not my job. Like. I had another job. I mean, you can work two jobs, but no, yeah. Pretend I know how to do other people's jobs. Yep, that's what I'm going with. Anyway, so, but also, army, the sun went, <laughs> it's gone on holiday. <laughs> BTS gone on holiday, sun's so like, bye. <laughs> but on holiday, having a break. Yeah, they're having a holiday, they're having a break. Hmm, what do you think? So what's a, what is a holiday? Is a holiday like... Is a holiday actually, do you have to go away for a holiday? Or can you, like, because there's, like in school you have Christmas holiday, Easter holiday, in the UK, the school terms, you have autumn, spring, summer. So you have the Christmas holidays, then you have the Easter holidays, then you have the summer holidays. And they're holidays, because they leave the school, it's a break from school. But then you don't often go on holiday in every holiday. I mean, some some kids do. I always wondered, when I'm in school, and then, like, we, as a family, we went on holiday in the summer, for, like, a week in the summer, 
we'd go on holiday. Not every year, but most years we we were able to, which is pretty cool. Because um, a lot of people don't get to. Like, see, I'm like, some people don't get to go on holiday ever. I was lucky enough to go on holidays most years. But then there's some kids who, for half terms, okay, half terms, people are going to, like, Spain. And I'm like, okay, one, we have homework. And two, it's half term. Like, how, how are you going to be, I mean, I'm not organised enough to go, okay, no, no. Just, no, no. Another thing about these pillow parties, I feel like there should be like actual stuff. I need to finish my sentences. That's the thing I need to work on. So, yeah. Well, what was I talking about? Summer holidays. Yes, holidays. And what's a break? What's a holiday? Is is a holiday vacation? No, I think we've established. You go on holiday, but there are also holidays where you just have time off. So that's what BTS are doing. They are having holidays but they may not be on holiday. I mean they could be. I was thinking about this the other day. I mean they're not but like they could literally be anywhere in the world. How scary is that? They could be anywhere. Like I know they're not like I don't know. Hmm, I'd say aliens, but that's just too stereotypical. Like, some aliens, like, not all aliens are here to kill you, okay? Movies. Like, okay, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how, like, you find another planet, right? Even, even if you're used to, like, other planets having life on them, and, you know, like, you come from a planet where you know life on other planets, your allies with some of them, you fight with some others, blah blah blah. Like surely there's some kind of space etiquette. No? I mean that's not the right word, but you know what I mean, like like you wouldn't just like start attacking her. I mean this was the issue with Doctor Who. Every single time, right? Every time the doctor like like aliens come and invade, right? The doctor stops them and then he's like you shouldn't be here anyways. This is a level five planet or whatnot. In the shadow proclamation, it says you can't be attacking here, blah, 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 blah. And no, I have not seen the latest Doctor Who's. I stopped, when did I start watching? Like, I didn't mean to start watching. I just kind of did, like we forgot about it. And then it's like halfway through Peter Capaldi. I got really disappointed when Moffat took over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all know my opinions. I just... Because Sherlock was his baby, and then I feel like he didn't put as much... I mean, like, he put effort into Doctor Who. I mean, like, way too... He made it... It was, like, too complicated. But And then it was, like, trying to be too clever, and, like, it wasn't scary, but it wasn't fun. And it was like, well, what's the point of Doctor Who if it's not scary and it's not fun? Like... Like, the monsters he created were so good. When he wasn't the main writer, he came up with the Vash Generada, the Weepy Angel. Like, was it Silence in the Library? I really liked Silence in the Library. And Blink. They were, um, I mean, they terrified me as a child. How old was I? When, whatever the year was. What was the, I mean, I'm not 2000, blah, blah, Take away 2000, that's my age. <laughs> well, that's my English age. So, yeah. Yeah, aliens. If aliens were like humans right it's pretty much a give you don't just go in and attack another country that's illegal i think it should be what was I talking about? aliens right yeah like war war etiquette alliances blah 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 here on earth i mean i know all alien civilizations aren't going to be like ones on earth blah 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 but like you make contact before you start attacking like, like, what, what is going through the alien's head? If it's intelligent life, as they always claim to be, well, as humans claim to be, and clearly, most humans ain't that intelligent. Especially in these films where they're fighting intelligent beings. Oh my goodness. 
sorry it's just when you're watching a film and you're like these people are legit morons where is it where is it where is it i mean it kind of it depends on the story and it depends if everyone's a moron and very much depends on whether the character being a moron is perceived to be a moron or if they're presented in such a way that it's clear they're not that their choices are meant to be like we're meant to be rooting for them and i don't like it when <laughs> like the protagonist is meant to be the person you either relate to identify with you just you want them to succeed right they're the protagonist but sometimes these protagonists they make making some real dumb choices and you're just sitting here like I hope this backfires I mean that's a bit harsh like this is going to backfire especially when it's like relationship stuff these people are so I mean what happened to communication like when when I see works of fiction where two people communicate effectively with each other that is my jab that gets me every time I'm like <laughs> messed up my hair there oh just I mean I'm not great I'm not a great communicator but good communication is so like it's so important to communicate effectively I mean like I feel like that's the whole point of a film or a book or I know a poem you're trying to communicate like even a painting art the broad umbrella of art and the arts is you're trying to communicate a message or a story to the audience or reader viewer so it's like it's it's important you know just in day-to-day -day life if you want a story to work if you want your life to work your marriage your children I don't, I'm not married I don't have children so I know nothing about that but like there's a difference between knowing and knowing and it's like so the aliens wouldn't just attack they would make some form of contact and then um and if they're that advanced then they will have translation stuff and why like why would you just attack people like I mean first if you if you want resources you scout the place out first because we're using the most of them we are using most of them up anyway okay if you're looking for fossil fuels send in some scouts if you're trying to be sneaky you're sending scouts right infiltrate the places where we're already extracting the fossil fuels see if we can do most of it for you then steal it there's no use you come storming in with a full offensive front we're obviously going to notice that we're going to fight back against that we're going to be hiding our resources from you we might even shut down the extraction of them and then even if you kill everyone or there's a big surrender you all still gotta extract it and you've probably lost troops resources time in the battling you know humans like we're so reluctant to die have you noticed every film you see like I mean I'm I watch a lot of things clearly and a lot of the time I see this person struggling for their life you know they're making it out alive and it's like a really hard situation I'm just sitting here like you know what death's not so bad but then I'm like no you you know it's even though I believe in heaven and like even even if I thought it was the end sometimes that seems preferable then I actually think about it. I'm like you know what probably I mean yeah I might give up in that situation but I can also see why you'd carry on because it's actually a lot harder to die <laughs> than it seems that sounds really weird um yeah I mean like it's so it's okay let's just think about this for a second it's so easy to stop living like human beings I don't understand how we've come this far because one we're killing each other you know killing our planet and and then there's natural disasters starvation because famine drought I mean you you sit for too long your back hurts you don't sit down enough 
your back hurts your spine and like your brit how are humans alive like yeah so this is what i think about i mean it's a pillow party i'm getting on suicide okay so do i really want to talk about this i'll just i'll just leave it as it's easy to die i don't want to give you all ideas because but then it, on the opposite end of that it's very hard to die something like like your body your whole life right you're trying to stay alive and your body just like rebels against you it's like you know what wouldn't it be fun to just like jump off this building like what would happen if i just jumped off from this high precipice and you're standing there like i would die because i'm a hundred feet up in the air Is that high yeah but then like your body will keep you alive and like your brain will be like like i don't know if you I mean 127 hours how like like normally your brain will not let you do that like it is hard to actively harm it's so easy to accidentally harm yourself but when you want to if if you want to it's a lot harder than it seems that's actually I heard from a friend who'd been to the doctors that a test they do is they ask you to bite through your finger now that's a weird thing because the jaw the human jaw is actually pretty strong i mean you bite through a lot tougher stuff than this so ow oh i made a dent so you can't bite through your finger because like you might be trying but like your brain will stop you like there are limits to the harm you can do yourself when your brain is functioning so aliens would surely make contact first or if their uh what do you call it motives were malicious they would at least send in scouts or low level infiltrators to check out the humans because you need to know what's on the planet before you try and take it you need to find out who the leaders are i mean one thing i will say about all these planets they're very united like I've never seen a film. Well, I'm gonna put Doctor Who aside for now because the the Slothines were a family. That was quite good. That was good against alien stereotypical alien racism. That was good against alien racism. Sorry about that. My battery ran out because I was unprepared for the ramblings that I would get into. There was the whole Slothine thing. Then you had the Bladin that were another family and he thought you could trust them because it wasn't the Sladin. But then I was like, oh no, they're all the same. I really liked Sarah Jane Adventures. They were so fun. Did I even talk about aliens? Like they'd make contact. They would, I mean, surely it's easier to ask for something. Like even if you don't want to pay for it, be like, can we have some of this stuff? And then they might be like, sure, you can have some whatever iron but we really like some of the blah 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 that you have and if it's like no i don't want to give you that i'm gonna shoot you if you don't give me the stuff then either they say okay they're gonna shoot us give them the stuff or they go we don't respond to terrorism pew 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 i don't know why that accent came out but that is um probably my perspective on things also films are very interesting because different countries will react differently to different situations like an american film and a british film for instance they could both have an alien invasion but well <laughs> it's kind of like the difference between independence day and attack the block well, what is my point here there is no point to this video a that's my point i don't know why the a but we'll go with it so if you're making a film or you're writing a story if you think i should tell stories on this channel go um go ahead no just hi children it's mary mary's version of jack and ori Ma mary nor no what was i talking about yes if you're writing a story obviously you have your own perspectives and opinions and I think 
culture is an important part of that. I mean, English culture's a bit different because it's like the culture is kind of that we're a whole mix of different cultures, if that makes sense. In my opinion, I don't, yeah. If I thought of British culture, I don't really, mm, mm. We kind of just steal cultures from other people. We're like, oh, what's, what's that alien that, I mean, <laughs> There's the absorb off which absorbs people. That might actually be a better analogy because we absorb the culture, but the culture's still alive. But then they kind of die inside it and it is mm, not, not the best perspective on Britain. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Britain's not obviously not perfect. Uh, I like it, but I live here, so. Um, wow, I'm tired. Okay, I shouldn't be this tired. I have nothing to do, but oh, man. I recently okay, I I caved and well, I say I caved, I just people keep talking about BTS World, okay, and it's so weird. I mean, I I did the like the little demo thing, and I was like, what madness is this? Like you pretend to be their manager and then but yeah, I was curious and obviously didn't know what kind of game it was so I downloaded it It's like if I were to describe it. It's like someone's written a BTS fan fiction Because obviously none of the stuff in it happened. Well the, It's fictional, right? So it's it's like someone's written a fan fiction and then turned it into a game but I feel like it was someone from, I mean, obviously Big Hit approved this because it's in conjunction with Nin <laughs> When you have your volume on too loud. Basically, I like memes and I was looking at the memes and there was a whole section on BTS World memes and I'm like, <laughs> but then some of them I didn't get, so yeah, it's like a B it's like you're playing a BTS fan fiction. But the thing is, the character I'm playing, I kind of get annoyed at because, I mean, for one, they're getting annoyed at BTS for like, like basically, what, spoilers, by the way, like, ugh, I'm not sure exactly what goes on, but there's like some phenomenon and you get transported as you are, I believe, because otherwise I'd be 12, being a manager you get transported back to 2012 Korea and you have to, basically BGS isn't a thing and Hitman Bang isn't a thing and basically you have to get BGS together and you, you have to make them what they are today in 2012. And I'm like, obviously they're not gonna make it overnight. How is this character so stupid, right? And it's just, <laughs> it's just, the, the idea, like, they want me to believe that, okay, I get the whole confusion, like, you're confused, you, like, you're back in time, you're meeting BTS, you gotta put them all together and stuff, but then, I mean, there was one, there was one incident, okay, just, okay, I'm gonna say the character I was playing, because that's, I assume that's what it is, I'm, I've taken a role in this fan fiction. it was just, it was just so, I just yeah they're just they're it's a bit it's a bit of an intense character but also it's like it's kind of like they contradict themselves like they're very intense and then there was one they're like oh it's not enough that I just put them in the same room together like oh we actually have to train like of course you actually have to train they're trainees what do you think they do just sleep all day no Basically sleep and eat instant noodles is what you think makes. Also, also, they didn't discuss the name and also they wrote it as Bangtan Boys and I'm like, but it's not Bangtan Boys, it's either Bulletproof Boys or Bangtan Sonyeon Dan or Bangtan Sonyeon Do. <laughs> Kills me every time, Sonyeon Do, sorry, Sonyeon Don, man. Yeah. You present it as bulletproof 
but and then it's like bang time but it's like it's odd because it's in English but then there's bits and I don't know it's just it seems awkward and it's like half flirty which I'm uncomfortable with because I'm their manager okay and also there's seven of them I can't even pick a bias so there's that what was I talking about pretty sure it's something about aliens mm. anyway whatever I was talking about is over now so how's your summer been yeah it just just I don't know some of the conversations were a bit I mean obviously it's the game so you you can't choose what to say but like sometimes the options are a bit and sometimes there's only one option and I'm I'm in this conversation and I'm like I would never say that human beings should never say that I mean probably in a different context but it just oh it's just some, sometimes it made me go oh, 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 oh. No. like like why why would you say that to someone else like especially I mean also because like they took the pictures in 2019 but they look very different well they look different to how they did in 2012 because it's seven it's been seven years sorry like it was seven years ago and like obviously the style was different the f some of their faces were different some of them don't age some of them age backwards i'm not going to get into that right now this is what i was thinking when my dad was like armies get a break because bts are on a break let me tell you something armies never get a break okay if you're like in there you're like in you're in there and then there's so much voting going on and then there's like there's accounts being blocked and there's this whole thing and then there's some aunties but like are they really such a problem anymore i mean i mean i mean also lover is a great song so i was just thinking about it makes me sad when like one fan like Okay, let me talk about fandoms for a sec, because I'm in a few. So, okay, I get, like, you want to support your faves, right? Obviously, because they're your faves. And you will support them until you die, because you are a you stan. And nothing is ever going to change that, right? And that's good. That's good. You should support the people you support. You should support the people you value. The people you love, support them. I love it. Support is the best. When I see people supporting other people, you're the real ones, okay? You, that's my jam. Communication and friendship, pretty much. Communication, friendship, support, jams, okay? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm having a mental breakdown. Just one second. While I collect my thoughts in my bowl. That's That's in my head now. Also, oh, heartbeat, such, the, I have too many jams. Jimin can have all my jams, okay, not all my jams, because they're my jams, but if he needs jams, I have got jams. Jams sounds really weird, jams, 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 jams. Yes, support your faves, but I, well, the thing is, I say I don't understand, but I also know that I used to be like this, and it's, see, this is why I'm a Hufflepuff, right? on the quiz it's like what's like the most insulting and i'm like being a coward is like whatever because because i'm normally between hufflepuff and ravenclaw basically like levels hufflepuff and ravenclaw are like Ooh. what is it here like hufflepuff's like like i'm a bit i'm a hufflepuff obviously then ravenclaw then Slytherin's like a little bit more of a gap but then the gryffindor's right at the bottom <laughs> i feel so bad because i i Harry gave Gryffindors such a bad rep. Like Hermione and Ron were Gryffindors too. They're cool people. Also Sirius, Remus, we're not gonna talk about Peter. Okay, as a Hufflepuff? No! <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, I don't talk about the rat because he's a rat. So, right, yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. And the reason I'm more of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw. Well, not the re but like, a reason. I can't remember the exact question. I think it's what would hurt you the most if someone called you... Okay, the choices were ignorant or selfish. And the thing is, if someone called me ignorant, like, I hate being ignorant, but also 
I know I'm ignorant. So like someone calls me ignorant, I'll be like, yeah, sorry, I am. Can you show me how not to be? But selfish is more of a trigger for me because, well, because I value not, because <laughs> I value kindness and I value a friendship and loyalty and honesty, all that Hufflepuff stuff. I value hard work and determination, which is also Hufflepuff stuff, which I feel the need to mention because a lot of people just think Hufflepuffs are nice people. We're not nice people, okay? Have you met, sorry. We, we just, we value that. And if you call us selfish, that will hurt because that's what we're insecure about. We're insecure, well, I say we, I can't generalize. I'm insecure. I'm insecure about being selfish because I know that I can be selfish, but I really don't want to be. Like one of my main things, I, just, I really, oh, I try to be not selfish so much because I know I can be so selfish. Anyway, what was I, what was I talking about? Oh, it was something to do with, I had it right there. I had it, I had it, I had it. Fandoms, it was fandoms. Yes, fandoms, I am in a lot. Yes, my original point which is why I went on to Hufflepuff and being selfish. Why? Basically, see, I talk so much, I have such a small point. This is the problem with pillow party. I give myself room to deviate and then like, cause I think I don't have enough material to like fill time, but then it's too much and then I've got to cut it down. It's like <sighs> this, for example, should. So it, yeah, I'm in a lot of fandoms and you should support your faves. Support is how I got onto it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes I have to retrace my steps and then I like, figure out where I got places. So it just, yeah. Basically, it makes me sad when I see someone from a fandom that I'm part of hating on another fandom that I'm part of because I'm like, dude, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I mean, it makes me upset when anyone's hating on a fandom I'm in, obviously, because I like that thing. Yes, I think I, before, I like Taylor Swift, right? Yes, this is how I got onto it, love her. I love Taylor Swift, I would say that I am a Swifty. But before I got onto Taylor Swift, oh, sorry. It's just such a hard thing for me to admit because do you ever, you just look back at yourself and, and you really don't like who you used to be. Like, I mean, this is what I talked about in my other video. Like I used to hate myself sometimes. And sometimes I look back and I'm like, I hate the person you were right then. Like, I hate what you just did. I would never be friends with you. Honestly, little me, I, oh, I would hate little me so much. Okay, maybe not, maybe not hate so much all the time, but like, oh, I would not be friends with her. No, like, oh, uh, no. I, I would not have the friends I have now if I had stayed that person. I was, oh, sorry. I'm just, just gonna be hated on myself. <laughs> Basically, okay, here goes. Because, uh, it's hard for me to admit because I don't like who I used to be and because I love Taylor Swift so much now. <sighs> okay, I grew up in an environment. This is gonna sound so excusey because I'm trying to give excuses because I don't condone this behavior and I love Taylor Swift. I know I've said that a lot, but I just want to make very clear. I love Taylor Swift. Okay, this is the old me, old me, like the Taylor standing on the beach in the blue dress at the beginning of the Out of the Woods music video. I'm now the one touching myself on the shoulder. There you go. No, this is the one that's like the snake, okay, and I'm the butterflies. Anyway, let's stop trying to draw analogies. Let's not align myself with Taylor Swift, okay? She's clearly out of my league. I'm not going to do that to her. She's another, she's an, obviously, so, I don't know why I keep doing this, like, she's, <laughs> she would not be near me because, as I say, another level. What was I saying? Yes. I, so, when I was growing up, I didn't really know who Taylor Swift was, but, like, when she was, I guess she was getting kind of big, well, kind of coming into more, I'd, I'd hear her music, and I liked her music. I would be bopping to Love Story all day. What was I saying? Yeah, I was around a lot of people that made fun of her and all I really heard about her was kind of making fun of her or, I don't know, belittling, belittling her fans or, I don't know, whatever. So I kind of just accepted that as, I'm going to use a phrase here, just know I hate this phrase and everything it stands for. The done thing. 
so I kind of just went along with it. Um, I mean, I don't remember making a lot of comments, but I'd probably just laugh when someone else made a comment and be like, sure. It was when we are never getting back together. Ooh, sorry, I listened to it in the shower this morning. Ha <laughs> funny. Anyway, when that music video came out, and obviously everyone's listening to it because it's a bop. And then I go around my friend's house. This is in secondary school. I think year seven, yeah, must have been year seven. It was early secondary school. Early secondary school, man, secondary school. I just want to thank my secondary school, right? Not like the school necessarily, because I didn't really do anything, but like the people I met, just the time I was in secondary school, like I didn't even think I changed that much, but like even from year 11 to GCSEs, I was like lower school, a different person to GCSEs and A levels was like a whole other. Like, I did really bad school-wise, but, like, the worst I got school-wise, I actually, like, I feel like I became more me, and, like, I was, like, I was becoming a better person. Ooh, I don't like, I don't like saying a better person, because it, it makes me feel like I'm, like, not a better, a better person than myself, not compared to other people. Because, like, once you get into comparing who's a better per- uh, no. What? People ask me, do you think I'm a good person? I'm like, don't ask me if I think you're a good person, mate. Like, what? What do you want me to say? Like, like you want me to list everything you've ever done wrong or like every good deed? I don't know you. Like, okay, I might know you, but like, I don't know you, you know? I feel like, like that's you. O like only you can, like what are you gonna do if I say you're a good person? What are you gonna do if I say you're a bad person? Like, you want my approval? I like you. I'm hanging out, I'm spending time with you. What else do you want? Like clearly I don't think you're evil. I'm hang, like, anyway. So yeah, I'm around a friend's house and she's, she's got the music video up. I'm with two friends, but it's one friend's house. And what did I say? Obviously, because the chorus is we are never getting back together. Obviously, that's repeated a lot in the song because that's how songs work. And that's the title of the song. So obviously, it's going to be in the song. Anyway, I said something about her being... It was some joke about... I mean, it wasn't funny. Just like, wow, they're never getting back together. Or like, she's very keen on them not getting back together. And one of my friends kind of giggled, but... The friend, the friend whose house I was at was like, I actually quite like this song. And I was like, and then I kind of stopped and I was like, oh, wait a second. Like, she likes the song. Like, I don't know what I was going through my head before, but like, like I was actually thinking like, oh yeah. And I was like, yeah, it is a good song. Because it is a good song. And thus began my, I was going to say descent, but it's more like a journey. <laughs> well, it was a descent into the multi-fandom mess. Because, I, I don't know, I just think, I guess I was, I wasn't sincere about my feelings. I because I I didn't see much sincerity around me with like, you know, I don't know. I'm not gonna analyze my childhood, but yeah. I think that was like I, that can't be the first time, but like the first time I remember seeing or well, hearing someone's sincere opinion. Like, I actually like this. And then of course I go home and I watch the music video a million times and I'm listening to all the music. So yeah. Again, love Taylor Swift. I I never I don't think I ever disliked her. I I definitely liked the music. I just kind of took a step back and was insincere about it and then made fun of people who genuinely like things. I, oh my goodness. When people make fun of people for like having feelings, I'm like, do you want to die? So yeah, this is what I say when I'm like, I don't understand how people can, you know, make fun of people for having feelings or for genuinely liking something or being interested in something. That's where making fun of geeks come from in, I'm gonna say, USA pop culture genre of movies. You know the ones I mean where it's, you know, it's the jocks and the geek. Because the thing about the geeks is they're enthusiastic about things and then the jocks can't show any emotion because that's not cool. And then they do, but it's fine because the girl likes them anyway and she's pretty, so. <laughs> My train of thought, man, me and my friend were talking on Twitter the other day, but we weren't like, I mean, our direct message is too hard to direct message on Twitter for us because we have too many, there's like three lines of conversation going on at once. So we, we were like replying to the same, we were replying to like three different tweets. Like that's it. It was like, it was, it was great. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's really fun though. <laughs> you just get all your thoughts out. It's a great, I love, I love our friendship. I love it. Yeah, so I say I can't understand when people do that, but like I do understand because I was once like that. But it just anno it annoys me. Like I understand, but it annoys me because I I'm gonna say hate again. No, I no yeah 
I hate when, like, yes, support your artist, like, but you're not supporting your artist if you're just dragging other artists down. How is you saying that someone looks like a hag helping your group to succeed? Like, they don't get any better looking if you say someone else looks bad or worse. Like, you can say they look worse than them. Like, that's your opinion. You can say, I think they're the most handsome, they're the most beautiful, whatever. That's fine. I mean, that's what, like, people have biases. Like, it's okay to have a bias. Just don't be hating on the other members, you know? Solo stats, man. Solo stats. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good dedication, but, like, just, if you're around me, don't be bringing other people down. Because that's my trigger. I, no, do, no, no. Am I trying to spell no? What am I doing? Everybody say no. Um, so yeah. I guess there is a point to this video. Don't be mean to people. Like, it's the only way to build yourself up is by dragging other people down. Then we're all gonna end up on the ground. And by yourself, I also include those you like and want to support. Like, you wanna support this person, okay? How can you even judge levels? Anyway, we'll, we'll say for argument's sake, they're on the same level, right? And you want them to be higher than them. So you drag this person down, right? They're higher, but they're the same. And then this, this person's fans want them to be higher than them. So they drag them down. And you see where I'm going with this. Everyone's just getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. What you want to do is you want to go whoop. Like it's harder to get higher. It, it, it's harder to push this one up than drag this one down. But you push this one up, then push, 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 yeah! See? And then you gotta do that, because you're like, whoa, boom, bye, yeah. And then you're singing, boom, bye, yeah. And you're happy, because Blackpink is in your area. And it sparks joy within you. You can feel your heartbeat as you run to your lover and say, I need you. Sorry, I'm just, uh... What else can I, oh. References. See, my mind is like full of references and sometimes I just need to get them out. Like if you ever have a conversation with me and I say something that makes no sense and you don't understand, it's a reference from something. It will be a song title, a quote from TV or movie, a film or a TV show. Sorry, I'm English. <laughs> Sorry, I'm English. <laughs> That's British culture. That is British culture, summed up in a sentence. It works in so many ways. You wouldn't say sorry I'm British, it's sorry I'm English. Like, <laughs> you can't drag Scotland, Ireland or Wales into your apology because we, we know it was you England, we know it was you. Don't be like, we're a United, but we're a United Kingdom, but you're English. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'm saying. It makes a lot more sense in my head probably than it does to yours. But sorry I'm English. I would say it sums up British culture. Because that because you can say it in so many accents, right? There's the posh sides. There's sorry, I'm English. You see? And then there's sorry, I'm English. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should just call this video sorry I'm English. Um, yeah, well, I had a good time. I hope you did too. I'm sorry this is so long. I just keep talking sometimes. When, when, I, start, when I start talking, I keep talking. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And I really like pillow parties. I might do another video about this. But when I moved to Vancouver, I don't know about, you know, how much time I'll have to do YouTube or... Yeah, I mean, I feel like I could do ideas. But yeah, I feel like pillow party type videos i mean let me let me know if you like them or if if they're just annoying uh because i i like i mean i enjoy making them obviously what is up with these planes are we under a fly path yes we are i know that um but that sounds like non-commercial anyway i like making these kind of videos and i feel like i could film this in vancouver let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, my random thoughts. I hope they 
inspired you to have some random thoughts of your own and oh what parents reacted I upload last number mm. Sting stigma is out first love is the next one if at the end you see a link to stigma then you can expect first love next week if you see a link to first love you can expect reflection next week so have a good whatever it is wherever you are and be nice to people